In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a parallel coordinates plot over time. I created this type of chart for Makeover Monday, Week 12, 2021, which you can see here on the screen. This was looking at the sales of different categories of food in America from 1959 to 2020. This type of chart shows you the relative sales for each category within each year. So for example, cereals accounted for 15% of the sales that beef and veal accounted for. Where in 2020, 2020 you can see that cereal is 52% of bakery products as a total. Now typically a parallel coordinates plot is a multivariate, it looks at multivariate numerical data. They're ideal for comparing different metrics and seeing the relationships between them. Each value, in this case a different statistic, is given its own axis and they're placed next to each other. You then create a scale that goes from 0 to 100% and each line represents an individual team in this case. Now, what, the, what this type of chart shows you is the relative difference from each team within the range. So if I were to look at field, field throw percentage, you can, for free throw percentage, you can see the Memphis Grizzlies um, are about 50% of what the maximum was. So how do we build one of those types of charts? Well, first off, let's rebuild the Makeover Monday visualization. So I'm going to start by just bringing my month field into the rows and choosing continuous quarters. From there, I'm going to put subcategory onto the detail shelf and millions of dollars to the rows. And we can see a simple line chart makes it easy to compare the metrics. But what I want to know is how has cereal, for example, sold relative to the other products. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. And just for simplicity, so you remember what it is later, I'm going to call this my parallel coordinates. And the formula is quite simple. We're going to look at the, the millions of dollars for each subcategory compared to the smallest value within each quarter. And I want to wrap that whole thing in brackets as my numerator. And then I want to compare that to the range in the data. So this is, a, again, we're going to need a set of brackets. And now my range of my data goes from the window max minus the window min. And this should be a window min. OK, and let's hit OK. And I'm going to set the default number format for that to be a percentage to zero decimals. Let's drag that to the rows. And then we want to configure this table calc to compute using subcategory. And if I show the highlighter for the subcategory, and let's say I choose cereals, I can see where does cereals compare relative to the largest product sold within each quarter. Let's look at another example. This time we're going to look at, at NHL attendance statistics. So for each season, we want to compare each team. I'm going to compare the total attendance for each team. So I'm going to write a calculated field, and I'm going to call this uh, my parallel coordinates again. And I'm going to start with a set of brackets. And first off, it's going to be the sum of our total attendance minus the smallest value. And then I'm going to divide that by the range, which is going to be my window max minus my window min. Hit OK. Again, I'm going to set the default number format to a percentage. 
to zero decimals. Let's drag that to the rows. We want to compute the visualization using team. And then let's change the mark type to a line. Now, if I go ahead and show my highlighter for a team, let's say I want to pick Florida, I could see how the attendance for Florida ranked compared to the team that had the largest attendance within each season. So I hope you found that useful. Have a great day.